Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your September 2022 money and career reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. Take what resonates with your situation, leave the rest behind. You may also want to check out your moon rising and your Venus sign readings as well for some further information and the big picture. We have the Wizard of Awareness coming out here. We also have Spark and we also have Deep Freeze coming out. Okay, so a couple of different kind of energies coming in here for you. We start out with the Wizard of Awareness. Now this is bringing you a heightened awareness about things around you and also things within you as well. Um, this is really the energy of taking a step back and observing uh, your situation or observing the energies that are around you or even doing a little bit of inner contemplation. When we do that, we take a step back and we become more mindful and more aware of what is going on but we become more mindful on a deeper level not just you know what is right in front of our face that we can see we're using all of our senses when we get this particular energy so this may be a month for you where you're gaining deeper insights and deeper perspectives about you know what you want or about what makes you happy how you make your money how you spend money your belief systems around your your money or your career path. But there may be something here that you want to create. Uh, you may be uh, needing to take a different alternate approach at resolving some issues or, um, you know, about getting a project completed, something off the ground, uh, you know, or even, you know, be a little bit creative um, with your finances in some way. Um, but when we get that wizard of awareness, this is heightened intuition. And this is also your ability to manifest things into your world, open those doors of opportunity and do something a little bit better, something that is a little bit more um, productive or uh, beneficial to you than perhaps something that you've been dealing with already. But whatever your situation is here, our perception and our beliefs uh, create our reality. So in the, you know, in the energy of manifestation and the law of attraction, be very aware of the energy that you are putting out there that you are uh, emitting into the world, okay? Or be aware of what energy you are absorbing as well. Are you living your life from the inside out or from the outside in? Does your external environment there affect you in some way? Is it time for a change? If it is time for a change, now is the time to really think about what it is that you want. All right, because we do have this spark coming in here. Now this could be a spark of inspiration. You might be feeling a little bit creative or there may be some desire here of something that you want to create or you want to improve. So creativity may be the key. Now, if you're looking at making some changes in your world, better your situation, this could possibly indicate that you might need to uh, spend some money, especially if you're looking to, um, you know, renovate your house or something, make your make your living environment um, a lot better. You may just feel these creative juices flowing around you, the deep freeze energy there in that particular um, aspect. Uh, if you do have some purchases that you want to make, uh, spirits really having you be aware of um what impact your uh, your expenditures will have, right? For example, if you're renovating your house, right? Are you going to, uh, you know, maybe you want to increase the value or something. Are you going to, you know, renovate something that other buyers will really like and that will really enhance the value of your home? For example, like a kitchen or make your bathroom a little little better place to be. Or is it going to be something like, you know, uh, something that buyers aren't necessarily too worried about, right? So uh, it's really just have a look at how much you're spending or where you're spending it and make sure that you are making the right choices um, with that. But I do feel here that this is a lot of creative energy, a lot of opportunity that you're attracting to yourself with this spark energy here, with this inspiration, with this creativity. So, you know, it may be that you are doing a little bit of contemplation to think about 
where it is that you want to be. Um, do you have the income that you're looking for? Do you feel financially stable? Uh, do you feel as though you need to do something a little bit different? And that's where the spark energy comes in. But we do have the deep freeze coming in here for you. So when we get this, this is about freezing something in place. This is not necessarily uh, an energy for you where you are getting a lot of things done. There's a very, very big contemplative energy, really like spirit is trying to get you um, to go within a little bit and not make any rash decisions or rash moves. Now, some of you, of course, may have some things already in the works. And if that's the case, then, you know, this is where your creativity is really paying off, right? So be aware and be mindful and, you know, use your perception, use all of your senses to know when you're making the right choice or the right decisions or to kind of be able to bring something together. After all, you're that wizard energy. But I think for others of you, I think spirit's really wanting you to um, figure out what you want first. And some people, you know, a lot of people are in this kind of contemplative energy. We had some big, powerful energy in August. And so it's like people are trying to make, um, you know, some decisions, right? There's like a little bit of a shift that's occurring. There's a lot of uncertainty in a lot of places. And, you know, so maybe you are looking at uh, maintaining more stability and security in your world. And as I say, we're making decisions. We do get the justice card coming out of the deck there for you. So clearly spirit wanted you to see that justice card of balance, fairness, and equality of being, um, how should I say, making a unbiased and fair decision in all aspects of your life. We've got the emperor coming out there as well. And we have the page of swords. So we do have a strategy that is coming into play here. So I think here the page of swords always does carry a new energy, um, the ability to expand your mind, open up uh, possibilities, try new things, right? It's a very exciting kind of energy that comes in here. Being curious about the world around you. It's also where we're kind of getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of clarity or a little bit of spark there that comes in, right? So, uh, you know, I think here that you're kind of keeping some options open, um, but there may be something there that you do need to see the truth for. You do need to get clear on the, uh, the, justice card here brings in this Libra energy. So you might be weighing up your options. You might be trying to make a good decision. You might be trying to figure out what it is that I want, but this is bringing in truth and honesty to the situation as well. Now, this also does highlight some contractual obligations. Real estate deals can be uh, there, especially right beside the emperor being that card number four. Uh, real estate deals, um, you know, job offers, uh, legal Legal situations wrapping up um, in a very positive way. So you know you may have uh, you may have those doors opening for you where things are starting to happen. Okay, you may also be looking at those areas in your life where you have made a contract, where you have made an obligation. Are uh, is that obligation still right for you? Is that commitment still right for you? Because the emperor sh the emperor shows that you are in a position of strength and authority. Okay, now you could be looking to, um, you know, looking at ways where you can gain more stability um, in your world. Perhaps you are contemplating, do I want more responsibility, uh, especially as far as my career goes? Do I want more responsibility? Am I ready to step up to the plate? Because the emperor energy shows that there may be an opportunity here for you to step into a leadership role if you're not in one already. Okay, this can also be how people view you as well as somebody who is very wise, who can, who isn't in a position of authority, but is someone who can execute a plan and who can, you know, be a little bit, I'm going to say inventive um, in how you get things done. But I feel here that some of you are a very natural born leader. And if you're not already in that leadership role, then that might be something that you want to explore, especially with that page of swords coming in there, uh, exploring your options, um, you know, uh, doing a little bit of homework, right? And, you know, but I do feel here that perhaps at some point in the month ahead, there is either a decision that you are making 
okay, that may be easy, may be difficult, okay, but you're keeping that balanced, fair perspective, just like that wizard of awareness. You're aware, you're gathering your facts, and you're not making a rash decision. So you may have a very important decision to make in the month ahead here, okay, but it looks like here that this is a good decision for you, okay? A strategy may pay off, okay? A plan uh, falls into place, okay? Or you're really, um, you know, figuring out what your next step are. I also feel here that there's perhaps a decision that someone else is making that influences your future. It's a decision that goes your way, um, especially with this justice card coming in here. Something that you've been waiting for, I feel, is finally coming in here. I mean, the emperor right beside the, uh, the justice card could represent a boss. Um, it can represent uh, something new, right? Especially with the page right there, uh, a new job, okay? This can also represent a new deal of some sort. But this can, um, you know, also represent those justice systems, right? Those court systems, those legalities that fall into place for you. So I feel here that there is some really positive communication that is headed your way. Okay, and this does put you in a position of strength, um, regardless of what you've got going on here. So a little bit of clarity and a little bit of focus will really go a very long way. But I really do feel here that there is some sort of strategy that is about to pay off. There may also be some advice that you may seek out. The emperor here uh, is that Aries energy, but this can be this can be somebody in your workplace, someone in your home life, okay, someone that maybe is really well versed in um, in paperwork and documents and contracts. Uh, and this person may help you through something, um, help you through a purchase or uh, help you to balance your finances even, right? It could be like a banker, but it could also be a, a business person as well. And this person may give you some really good advice. There might be a very important conversation there with that page of swords, right? So keep your options open, keep an open mind, be willing to communicate. Communicate may, Communication may certainly be the key, whether it's internal or external. But I think here there's something here that may be very exciting that's opening up for you. Something that you've been waiting for, I think, um, especially with that justice card. Yeah, and we have the three of wands and we also have the hanged man. So you've been waiting for something and then we've got the, uh, the, um, Ah, very interesting. We've got the Page of Swords coming in there as well, or sorry, the Page of Wands. We've got a Page of Swords and a Page of Wands both coming in here for you. Okay, so I think here that once you get clear on what you want, it's time to move forward. It's time to take action. Okay, the Three of Wands does show here that there's an energy of contemplation and you're ready. You're ready to make the next step, the next move. You're ready to move forward. You've cleared out some blocks and obstacles. Okay, your ability to clear the path for forward to take the next steps to create something to make some change um you know or you know you're just um feeling like you know when is my time to shine i think here that there is a little bit of a waiting game but i think you're ready and of course success which is what the emperor brings in there success really is just about being prepared and having the right opportunity we should always be prepared for you know to make some moves or to to look to find something new or to do something right that way when the opportunity comes in alignment for us then we are very much lined up for success so i think here that you've been you've got a goal in mind and i think here that you're actually being quite patient um, waiting for something, okay, or, you know, once you, once you know what you want, once you put a plan in place, once you're very clear, then that path forward is very open for you, okay, but I think here that there may be some opportunity that allows you to move forward and that you may decide to jump on, okay, but I think others have used a little bit of patience that is required here, but uh, the hanged man certainly can bring in a little bit of a pause, it can bring in the stepping back, all right, the seeing things from a, uh, the big perspective, seeing the big picture, and that's what that wizard of awareness comes in there. That's what that brings in, okay, the three of wands even, right? You're looking out into the horizon, okay? And so I think here with the uh, hanged man energy, there may be additional pause, okay? It might be a fairly slow moving, moving month for you, okay? But 
you are gaining deeper insights. You're gaining a deeper understanding of what it is you want, what your next steps are. You're clearing out any kind of doubts um, that may creep in. And I think you have a clear vision and you've got a clear goal in mind. Now, this may be minor for some of you. This might just be, you know, hey, I want to spruce up my house a little bit. I need to spend some money. Can I afford to do it? Um, you know, maybe some of you are buying a house, um, you know, or maybe even moving, relocating the three of uh, wands there can certainly be about relocation, right? Um, waiting for the right moment to do that or for the right opportunity to do that. And, you know, so this hanged man energy can really open up a world of possibilities for you. You're seeing the potential of what it is you want to do, but you're also open up to um, finding resources, to asking for advice or even getting unsolicited advice there as well. It's a very calm energy. And it is one where we kind of do let go of things with the hanged man, right? We surrender, we sacrifice, we let go of things that are no longer serving for us. We let go, we allow things to unfold, to transpire, to happen in the right order, in the right time, right? Patience is sometimes very much a virtue, a learned skill, but is also sometimes necessary. When we're in that hanged man mode, we're in the energy of allowing, right? We're letting go of fears, of doubts, of blocks, right? Just like this three of wands here, got a clear path forward, okay? And, you know, because I think here that you are getting yourself prepared and you're getting yourself ready, um, you know, and if you don't have all of the answers that you're looking for, I think you're gaining those insights in the month ahead. You're getting the answers and this allows you to really see your vision very very clearly and I think if you've been impatient all right I think there is this calming energy that is coming in here but I think you're getting some clarity um, and I think you've got a very open mind this month as well very much in receiving mode which is absolutely awesome but the page of wands can certainly bring in some very very exciting energy as is that page of swords okay so there might be a, some a lot of new things on the horizon for you, new opportunities, those doors opening up. But don't forget about taking action yourself as well. Okay, the hanged man, sure, we're stepping back, we're looking at things, we're, you know, exploring some options, we're figuring out what next steps to take. Okay, we're getting the information, the answers, we're seeing the potential, we're seeing the big picture, right? But don't forget that, you know, contemplation and observation is all wonderful, but then we need to remember to take some action. The page of wands, the page of swords can be your energy, following your passion, your dreams, getting deeper, um, deeper or new sources of inspiration, being quite creative. A lot of energy is coming in here, a lot of positive energy. Okay, this can certainly be yours, um, but it can also be that news coming in, right? So uh, I think there is some interesting things on the horizon for you there. So Spirit's really wanting you to be ready. We do have the Fool We've got the Seven of Swords and we have the Four of Cups. So the Hanged Man energy right in the center of your reading is very important because I think here that this allows you to see the truth. The Seven of Swords is quite often an energy where we don't always trust something or where we even need to leave something behind, let go of regrets, of doubts, of fears. We're gaining clarity, okay? We're getting all of our thoughts in a row with the Seven of Swords, okay? But there also may be something here that you don't quite trust. Maybe you don't trust yourself or there may be something that comes in there that seems a little bit too good to be true, Okay, you might also have some doubts creeping in with the Seven of Swords. Okay, a little bit of a waiting game, right? I've been waiting and waiting. I'm trying to keep my thoughts positive. I'm trying to leave negativity behind because there's something here for you. And with the Four of Cups coming in, the Four of Cups can quite often be, um, you know, an opportunity, uh, you know, information, something that can potentially make you quite happy, a helping hand from the universe advice, wisdom, uh, you know, all of those things, something new to come in there from the sidelines, but you need to be ready and open to receive it or to see something, to see the potential of something in front of you. 
Okay. So again, like we just, like we said at the very beginning of your reading, this is kind of a little bit of a shift in energy for you, but not necessarily, um, one of a lot of action. It's really, um, you may get some, you know, you may get some clarity. You may have some, uh, decisions that you're making and all of this very much of a decisive kind of energy. It's, um, almost like the, you know, the, uh, you know, getting that really good plan in place, really good strategy so that you can take your next steps with confidence and you can execute execute your plan in a very positive very um beneficial way it's a little bit of a structured energy that is coming in here for you. Um, so, you know, for some of you, you are really looking to break free out of something that's been a little bit stagnant. Um, I think here, some of you really are looking for that newness, um, whether it's just a new approach at an old problem or whether you're waiting for a decision, okay, or you're, you know, looking for some new opportunities. I think the potential is here. But again, with the Four of Cups energy, you need to be open and ready to um, receive Okay, because that four of cups is quite often when we're not paying attention, okay, or we're a little bit closed off in our energy, right? Feeling bored, feeling blase, feeling um, disconnected, okay? And so if you are feeling that way and there's energies around here that you don't trust with that seven of swords, um, you know, and that four of cups there, something's just a little bit off. The fool can certainly show that there's new opportunities on the horizon for you, but you need to know what you want right? You need to kind of have an idea of, you know, where you want to go or what you're excited about, what you're passionate about with that page of wands energy. Okay. But you could also really be trying to figure out, I think here that you may be trying to re-engage, um, with something in your world here as well. Um, it's interesting. There's not necessarily a lot of kind of partnership energy coming in here. I think this is really kind of all about you here, Pisces. I think you're really centering yourself. Um, I think some of you are getting a resolution on things in the month ahead. It's really positive for you. But I think others of you are really keeping your options open. I think you're really contemplating um, your world around you and trying to figure out how you can either improve your situation. What can I do differently? Okay, you may just be resolving some issues in the month ahead with the Justice card and the Emperor card there. And not to mention that Hanged Man energy. I think you are sorting some things out. You're gaining some traction and you're making some improvements, but I also do feel like there's a blocked energy here a little bit as well. Okay. Um, so we need to really embrace the hanged man energy. Like I said, not a lot of people love to see the hanged man because it is a pause. Okay. It's like, you know, uh, we always want, we always want more, right? We always want movement. Okay. We don't like feeling stuck, but the hanged man really does serve a deeper purpose, right? First, we need to, you know, go within, we need to think about things or we need to let go of fears or doubts or whatever is blocking us. Um, and then we can move forward with clarity, with a sense of purpose, with a sense of knowing what that we're on the right track. We can embrace the fool energy that is here for you. Okay. The fool is, you know, really about having the confidence that you've got the tools that you need to move forward, to do what you want to do, to take the next steps, to make some change. Okay. Or to just re-engage in your situation and, you know, um, have some fresh burst of energy, right? The fool is all about that fresh energy coming in. Okay. Um, but again, there's something a little bit exciting. So whether this is new adventures, okay, or whether this is just putting a spring back in your step and being really excited about something in the month ahead, especially if you figured out something, uh, the solution to a problem or you're figuring out how to make more money, okay, I think here there is something very exciting. But there's also a naive quality that comes in with the Fool card here as well. And with the newness that the fool brings to the equation and with that naive, innocent kind of energy here, the emperor card really does come into play for you here as well. So this can be that there might be something that you're really excited about. 
um, or some adventure that you're really looking to pursue. Um, but there may be some, you may either need to ask for some advice, okay, or you might need to really be, um, uh, you know, put both feet back on the ground a little bit and reflect a little before you jump right into something, before you springboard into something, just to make sure that you have all of the information that you need. Because when we do have the, the justice card there, we do have contracts and things that that can certainly uh, get highlighted here for you. And so uh, think of any kind of paperwork where you need to sign your name. It can be job offers, right? It can be legal documentation, right? Purchases, big purchases. Um, that can be that as well. So whatever you're dealing with, wherever paperwork is involved in the month ahead, make sure that you are reading the fine print. Take some time, that hanged man energy. Take some time, sit back and make sure that you are reading everything properly, especially the fine print, the clauses, especially any kind of restrictive covenants at all. Okay, because um, we just, it's not that there's anything necessarily wrong, but we do have the seven of swords here. Okay, so that just really does highlight a little bit of caution that may be needed, but the justice card is in the upright. So I feel that this is maybe um, there's an opportunity or not really an opportunity. There's a chance here for a little bit of misunderstanding or there's something here that you might not quite um uh you might not quite trust or it's like oh I don't know about that right I don't know about that paragraph and so again that um that emperor energy may be somebody around you that is a little bit more well versed in legal jargon or something that can really um you know give you a little bit of advice right so and like I said it's not that there's any it's not that the justice card is in the reverse or anything it's just that we do have the seven of swords here and it's always a good idea anyway before you you sign your name to any kind of document it's always a good idea to make sure you read it yes now some of that fine print can be so small that we pretty much need a magnifying glass and sometimes the fine print of things is written in some other alien language that you know unless you're a lawyer or something probably can't understand hence the opportunity to ask for some advice Okay, um, especially something that is legally binding that involves large sums of money. Okay, um, <clears throat> information is the key, right? Information and clarity can certainly set you free. All right, so I but I do think that there is some of you are getting a resolution to something here that you've been waiting for for I think a while. Okay, and this is certainly something quite exciting for you. But with that fool card here, there is a world of opportunity open to you now. So if you are looking to make any changes, or if you want to do something a little bit different, or you're looking for a promotion, right? You're looking for ways to make more money, um, make your uh, make your your world a more prosperous, abundant place, then I think here that it really resides within you to know what it is that you want, or at least to open the doors to finding those new things. And, but also to see the potential of any kind of opportunities that you do find. The fool is all about potential, right? It's all about that leap of faith. <clears throat> so if you've been mulling things over for a while and if you've been really feeling stuck but you haven't quite gotten to the place where you've done anything about it the fool card shows that <clears throat> there's opportunities to expand your horizon <clears throat> but you just need to go for it if you don't take action then not something's not going to happen Right. And if you think of those situations, like if you do have a promotion that's coming up in your workplace, some bosses are idiots. Let's face it. OK. And some bosses, they don't necessarily see all of the values and the qualities or the potential that someone brings to the table. The fool is filled with potential. The page is filled with potential. Okay, so um, I think you have the potential to really unlock some doors and some opportunities for yourself, but you may need to ask for it. You might need to step up. You might need to take some initiative. And the page of swords energy there really does, especially with the page of wands, really does bring that initiative, that action to the table. And it may be small things. It may start with a conversation, right? You got a promotion up, if someone quits in another department or another division or even in your division, and you go up to your boss. And if you don't go to your boss and say you're interested, 
your boss might be a moron, right? You might not know, right? Because they're quite often focused on their own stuff. And then of course, you know, um, any, anyone that's in a management position, they have to now backfill a position if someone has left and now they're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? This is more work that I didn't want. And so sometimes they don't realize that somebody that already works for them may be open to something new. Because of course, sometimes a little bit of selfish energy comes in there, right? Is that if you were to move onwards and upwards within your company, okay, then your boss all of a sudden has to backfill your position, okay? And that causes them even more grief, all right? So sometimes they <clears throat> ignore the possibilities that are in front of them, all right? Not necessarily out of any kind of malicious intent or anything, just because it does represent more work for them. And some bosses, some bosses are, pro some bosses are progressive and forward thinking, um, but a lot aren't. So if you want something to happen, you need to ask for it, or you need to take the first steps, right? You're looking for something new, throw your resume out onto the internet. If you're looking to buy a house, right? Make a large purchase, right? Again, you got to do some research. You got to do something to get the ball rolling. But this energy is incredibly supportive to, um, to start something new <clears throat> or to see the possibilities that are around you. Don't forget that emperor energy does bring in an energy of success and using your wisdom or gaining new wisdom even as well. But using all of your wisdom and your knowledge to execute a plan the exact way that you want to do it, right? But that hanged man, first you need to think about what your plan is or what you want, and then you're in alignment and then you're ready to take action. So let's see what else we have here. We have improving health come in. Now this particular energy has come up a few times um, in these career readings. You are the last reading. And I think this has come up about two or three times before. So when we get improving health, now, this can be any kind of health, right? This can be spiritual, mental, emotional, physical health, all right? And if you're looking to, you know, if you're assessing your current environment, your current situations can also be financial health. So there are improvements on the horizon for you. Does this represent making change? Are you in a healthy workplace? Um, are you feeling tired and drained at the end of the day? Are you surrounded by energy suckers? Um, are you in an environment that you can trust the people that you work with? If not, okay, or if something has gone a little bit sideways, there's improvements on the horizon for you here. Okay, so you can either um, infuse fresh energy into your current environment right now. You can take steps to protect yourself, okay, or to do something different, and that may also improve your health here as well. You may find balance in your life here too because that justice energy brings about balance, fairness, and equality. So if there's something here where <clears throat> there is some inequality, then I think here you have the ability to restore a healthy balance. You have an opportunity here to improve your financial health, right? Your physical, emotional well-being as well, okay? Your heart health here, your happiness, your joy, okay? So onwards and upwards, okay? Improvements on the horizon for you, but it may require a change or it may require you being in the energy of accepting things as they are. In that hanged man energy is where we sometimes gain some acceptance, and we let go of the things that we don't have any influence over, okay? We either, you know, just say, hey, you know what? I've got a good paycheck coming in. This is my work environment. You know what? I think I'm going to learn to live with this, okay? And then we can be in that kind of energy, and that all of a sudden brings improvements as well. So think of those areas that are out of alignment, out of whack. Can you improve your current situation? Uh, can you make better choices? Can you protect yourself? Can you let certain things go, or is it time for a change? We have the yes card. If you are looking for an answer, the answer is yes. If you are looking for new beginnings? The answer is yes. If you're looking for ways to improve your situation, open doors for yourself, get resolutions to things, the answer is yes. This is a big old yes. This is the power of positivity. This is doors opening. This is you being confident in your ability to get things done, no matter how small, no matter how big. This is your ability here to believe in yourself, to make the right choices, to 
speak your truth to speak your mind. Yes, yes, yes. The power of positive thinking, this big old yes energy doesn't always mean that everything goes our way. Okay. But it all, but it, what it does do is change how we deal with the things that we're faced with each and every day. That gives us the ability to overcome challenges, to see the truth, to gain clarity and insights and to see things, view things a little bit differently. But I think there's something exciting on the horizon for you. The seven of swords, stay positive. The four of cups, stay open. Okay, we don't want you to miss any kind of opportunities um, and we don't want you to be blocked, right? So release those blocks, okay? And we have success here for you as well. Success on the horizon for you. That emperor energy brings in success. The Whether it's something new, whether it's something that you can improve in your situation, okay? Or whether you, you know, are just gaining a little bit of traction. Okay. Success is on the horizon for you. What does success mean to you? Okay. Whatever that means to you, this is certainly a great indicator of growth, of opportunity, of change, and that you're on the right track. You're on the right path. Okay. You're on that fast track to success. I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.